In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the correlation coefficient from a table of values. In statistics, fitting a curve to a set of data points is called regression. The fitting of a straight line to data points is called linear regression, and that's what we'll be doing in this example. The correlation coefficient, which is represented by the letter R in this formula, is usually calculated by a computer. When you put in data points into Excel, Excel calculates R almost instantly. If you don't know already, R gives a numerical measure of the scattering of the data. The closer the R is to 1 or negative 1, the stronger the relationship. The closer it is to 0, the less related the data points are. To find the correlation coefficient, we need to use this complicated looking formula, although it's not complicated to use. As long as you create a table to organize your data, you should be fine. So we're asked in this question, find the correlation coefficient for the data presented below. What you want to do is create a table with five columns. In the first column, you'll write down all of your x's, 0 through 8. In the second column, your y values. In the third column, you will multiply your x times your y for that point. In your fourth column, you'll have the x variable squared. And in the fifth column, the y variable squared. If you do it correctly, you should end up with a table that looks like this. So I've gone ahead and created my table. Notice that 0 through 8 are listed in each row, and the y outputs are listed in this column. I've also multiplied 0 and 2 to get 0, powered 0 by 2 and got 0, powered 2 to the power of 2 and got 4. Similarly, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 to the power of 2 is 1, 4 to the power of 2 is 16. The next step is to sum up all of the columns. So let's go ahead and do that. 0 plus 1 plus 2 is 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, and 36. So this is equal to 36. 2 plus 4 is 6, 11, 15, 19, 26, 31, 39, and 46. I'll use my calculator for this column. And if you do it correctly, you should end up with 219. I'll use my calculator for this column as well. Once again, you should end up with 204. And adding all these numbers up gives you 264. So this number right here, the 36, represents the sum of x. Now remember your formula, the sum of x. We just found this part. The sum of y was 46. The sum of xy is 219. The sum of x to the power of 2 was 204. And the sum of y to the power of 2 was 264. Our next step is to substitute these values into the formula. The only thing that's foreign in this formula that we haven't defined yet is n. n represents the number of observations. In our case, we have 0 through 8. That represents 9 observations. Therefore, r is equal to 9 times the sum of xy, which is 219, minus the sum of x, 36, times 46, divided by the square root, and I'll put the radical symbol later, we have 9 times the sum of x to the power of 2, 204, minus 36 to the power of 2. I'll put the radical symbol. Multiply to the square root of 9. Now we have y to the power of 2 sums of 264 minus 46 to the power of 2. Using our calculator, we'll do the numerator part first. 9 times 219 minus 36 times 46. That gives me 315. And the denominator part, we start off by Clicking the square root button, 9 times 204 minus 36 squared. 
times the square root of 9 times 264 minus 46 squared. So 60 times the square root of 39. All I have to do now is take 315 divided by the answer. This gives me 0 0.8406. 0 0.8406. Let's analyze this number. As mentioned earlier, the correlation coefficient can vary from plus 1, which is a perfect positive correlation, through 0, no correlation at all, all the way to negative 1, which is a perfect negative correlation. In our case, we have r is equal to 0 0.8406. That is a strong positive correlation. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the correlation coefficient from a table of values.